installation of iSmartGate for iPhone. The first thing users with a HomeKit device already installed in their house need to know is that to install it, they need to use the iSmartGate app. The first step is to open the iSmartGate application. Here, you will be presented with the option to buy the iSmartGate device. As you already have the device, you just need to press the button, no thanks. You should now have two buttons on your screen, join existing iSmartGate and start configuration. The purpose of the second join existing iSmartGate button is if you want to add an iSmartGate device previously configured by another person to your phone. If that is the case, then you would need the iSmartGate owner to give you the iSmartGate UDI login and password. As this is not the case here, you need to configure the iSmartGate from scratch. To configure the iSmartGate device, you need to press the first button, Start Configuration. Now, you need to plug in your iSmartGate. You now have 15 minutes to start the configuration, otherwise you have to restart the device. Now, press Next. You need to wait two minutes for the iSmartGate device to turn on. Check to see that the light on the Wi-Fi is blue. This means that the device is ready to start configuration. If the Wi-Fi light isn't blue, you need to reset the iSmartGate. To reset the device, hold down the reset button on the back of the device for five to six seconds and then wait two minutes for the device to restart. If the light is blue, press Next. In this screen, you will be asked if you have previously configured this device with Home Application by Apple. You should press No. Now you need to minimize the iSmartGate application and open the Home app to link the iSmartGate device to HomeKit before proceeding to the next step. It is important that your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Now, open the application Home, press Add Accessory, and scan the HomeKit QR code on the back of the iSmartGate device. Press Allow. Now the iSmartGate should automatically connect to your Wi-Fi network. When iSmartGate and HomeKit are linked, the light should turn green. This means it is now connected. Now press Next. Here, the accessory appears as not configured. This is normal, as we still haven't assigned a sensor to the garage door. Add the accessory to the room garage. Now press Next. Now, the home kit part is completed, but the installation is not complete yet. Close the home application and go back to the iSmartGate application. Press Next. Once the application has found your iSmartGate device, click on it to continue. Now, you need to select which language you want. Press Next. Now you need to configure the doors. Unlike the iSmartGate Pro, which has three doors, the iSmartGate Lite only has one door to configure. Click on the button to enable door one. You need to select the type of door that you have. In this case, it is a garage door. In door images, you can put personalized images of the door. For now, we will leave default images, which can be changed later. You need to name the door. In this case, use door one. You need to select the sensor type that comes with the box, which is wireless sensor. In this case, ISG-TWS. You should enter the sensor ID found on the label of our sensor. It is important to put the batteries in the sensor as the sensor will start communicating with the device. Press Next. On this screen, you have two options. If you only want to use iSmartGate from HomeKit, with the Home application, press only HomeKit. If you want to take advantage of all the functions of the iSmartGate, such as remote access, adding a video camera, IFTTT, Google Assistant, etc., press Continue Setup. 
Now you need to configure the iSmartGate Administrator account. The login of the administrator will always be admin. Here, you can also see your iSmartGate UDI. It is important to note this down and always have it on hand. Now, enter the administrator password. Then, enter an email. Even though you aren't going to use Google Home, you need to enter a security code of between four and six numbers to be able to use it in the future. When you use Google Home to open or close your garage door, Google Assistant will ask for the security code to complete the instruction. Press Next. As you have previously configured the Wi-Fi network to HomeKit, you just need to choose one name to identify your device. In this case, you can call it Home. Press Next. Now, you need to read and accept the terms and conditions to be able to use remote access. Alternatively, you can choose Continue without activating remote access. Remember that remote access must be activated if you want to connect your iSmartGate to external applications like Google Home or IFTTT or connect remotely to iSmartGate from outside your house. Accept the terms and conditions and press Next. Now the device should restart with the new configuration and once it does, it will already be able to connect to your iSmartGate. Now that the application is connected to your iSmartGate, if you want to change any settings, you need to go to Settings and access your admin account. Here, you will have all setting options. To complete the installation, you need to check if HomeKit has been correctly configured. To do that, you need to close the iSmartGate application and open the Home application. Where before, you could see Not Configured, now you should see the door that you configured. 